Okay. Um, hi, uh, this is just going to be a quick recording here. Let me share my desktop. Um, so um, I talked with a few students for the help session today, but um, I just decided to record something separate here. So I, I want to show you that I'm having a, there, there's a few issues with using the, uh, setting up the IntelliSense, um, the C++ IntelliSense extension for the, um, the DevBox environment. So this is going to be hopefully a real quick video. I'm going to show you real quickly kind of the steps here. So uh, the, the issue is, is that um, in, in the original video that I gave you about doing the practice assignment, um, at some point in there, I told you, you have to get the C++ IntelliSense installed. We really need to get version 1.4.0 for the virtual Visual Studio Code server that I have. So uh, what I told you to do was do something like this. So go over to the three, uh, when you have the extensions open down here, go to the three dots to get the additional things and install from the VSIX file and select the file that I had downloaded for you. So this kind of works, it installs the version that we want. That, that's the correct file. This is the version for the Linux um, i386, actually for the x86 64-bit uh, version architecture. All right, so it installs the correct one. But what I've noticed is after you reload, so I just reloaded the thing here, it, it, it seems, it, it was real quick there, but it seems to automatically update it. And unfortunately, I think this is probably a bug, but it's updating, it's updating with a Linux, but it's updating to a Linux ARM architecture instead of the Linux um, x86. So I, most people are running, you know, Intel x86 rather than ARM um, systems here. And that's a problem. So once it updates to 1.5.1 .1 here, um, it's got the wrong extension, apparently, um, and that causes problems. So what you'll see uh, after it's done doing that, if you reload, um, if, if I were to open up some files here, I'll get some error messages. Oh, there it is. So, so, so yeah, if, if you're getting error messages about Linux ARM 64 version, um, you're having this problem here. Now, this is the only workaround that I've found so far that fixes this. Okay, so what you need to do is go to the gear icon here on the extensions and, and tell it to install another version. So we really do want version 1.4.0. So select that one. So again, though, this isn't this isn't the end here because it installs 1.4.0 and it seems to pin it to the version that we want. But but again, it, it, it installs the um um, the the Linux ARM instead of the Linux um, x86 architecture here, right? So, uh, but 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 once you do that, we'll get it pinned to version 1.4.0, and then we can go back and install again the um, from the file that we need, and that seems to finally work uh, for me here. Okay, um, so I'm going to pause my video here, and we'll come back once that's done. Oh, there. Okay, it's done. So, so once you've done that, if we reload, we will actually be pinned to the correct version that we need, 1.4.0. But we still have the ARM64. So now, though, if you um, install from the VSIX file again, the uh, the, the file that we've downloaded, um, this 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 one goes relatively quickly here, but I think that that actually fixes it. Okay. So, so uh, in general, what you want is you want 1.4.0 and you need to be not getting those error messages about having the ARM version installed. You need the x86 version installed. Okay. So um, well, if you have the IntelliSense installed correctly, let me show you real quickly then the steps. Um, so, um, Let's, um, so I showed these steps in the video. So let, let's clone our repository, okay? So if, if you have your assignment zero or assignment one or whatever assignment, you know, if we go to code and we, we copy the, um, S, make sure it's the SSH URL. Um, and then we will go um, to the um, source control and do a clone repository, paste that in there, hit return. Um, I'm going to always clone my repositories to the sync home vagrant sync subdirectory. So say okay for that. 
Um, oh, uh, if you get this error message, um, so yeah, I skipped a step. Okay, so there's one thing you have to do. If, if you're getting the uh, um, um, uh, some error messages here, probably you've skipped the step here. So I should have done this first. So we need to add the SSH key uh, to our GitHub, right? So basically what you need is if you go to your GitHub account that you created, um, if you go to your settings and look at the SSH, and GPT keys. We need to have the correct SSH key added here. So this was described in there, but the way to do that, um, if, if you go to your, your dev box, Visual Studio Code, if you go to file, so under the um, application menu here, I'll do file, open file, find the .ssh subdirectory and open up the public key for your um, SSH key here. So you want to copy this key and you want to, to, to add it into your GitHub. Okay, so I'm going to do a new SSH key, paste the key here um, and give it a name. So, um, so you know, a, a good name for this key since this is the, this is the, uh, the SSH key for the COSC 2336 Summer 2 2022 DevBox class, right? So I'll give that as my name there and add it in. All right, so once you've done that, then you should be able to correctly clone the, um, the repository. So let me try that again. So I'll, I'll copy the URL. Um, sorry, and then I'll go back to um, clone repository, paste it in there, select the sync subdirectory and have it sync there. All right, so you shouldn't get an error. Uh, it should correctly clone the repository, you should get a message that and we do want to open it, okay? So let me show you finally uh, a few more of the final steps here. So we go ahead and open this up. So to test that your IntelliSense is working, right? Uh, again, you need to have 1.4.0 here. Um, I've got my repository open. So like I mentioned on there, um, there's a couple of steps you have to do um, every time when you clone um, an assignment. So you need to do some of these from the terminal. So once you have your assignment open, open up a new terminal and do that dot configure step. All right. Um, so this will configure your repository. And um, this will build a few things. So this will set up a few things that need to be set up here. Shouldn't take too long. Okay, then we're done. And then just make certain from the command line that you can do a make clean. Um, so that just cleans up everything for the build. You can do a make all or just make that will actually rebuild everything, right? Everything is out of date. It will rebuild it if you do a make from the command line. And then do the make test. So you should be able to run the test. There, there might not be a test or some tests might be failing, but you should be able to run them. All right. Um, and then the other thing is that you want to check that the make format works, all right? But then uh, if, if you got that far and if you've correctly got your 1.4.0 IntelliSense running, you should all, you should be able to do these um, in our dev box um, from the editor. So let me show you how to do those, all right? To check that your IntelliSense is set up and that your project is configured correctly here. So if you, you have to have a file, like a, like a, a source file, like a the CPP file um, opened up in the editor to, to try these, but um, you should have the keyboard shortcuts set to be able to do the same thing that I just did from, from a terminal. So if I do a control shift one, it should do a make clean. If I do a control shift two, it should do the make all or the make to rebuild everything. And if we do a control shift three, it should try to run, do the tests, okay? And then finally, also the IntelliSense um, should be set up to do code formatting. So if, again, if you've got the right version of 1.4.0 installed for our dev box here, um, you should be able to do, it, it should format the code correctly for you every time you try and save, right? So if I do something like say if, X equals five, Y equals seven, like that, right? So here I, I add some code, but there's no like space or no indentation or anything. Now, if I do a save, 
what again, what you should see is that it will re-indent the code. It will put spaces in here the way it should be and everything according to the class style guidelines. Okay. Again, so all those things should be working if you have your correct uh, in C++ IntelliSense setup. If you've correctly configured your project using the dot slash configure step. Um, so if you've done those things, then, then you should be able to do the keyboard shortcuts, do make clean, make and make all. And you should be able to, uh, whenever you save your file, it should be uh, reformatting your code according to class style guidelines, all right? So again, that, that, that was kind of real quick, but, uh, but I just wanted to show those things. And yeah, sorry about those, but, but you know, a few things are a little bit out of date, but you have to do those steps in order to be ready to uh, compile and run the projects for this class, okay? So that's it for this video. Uh, send, send me your questions by email and stuff, um, and I will see you guys later then.